Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ruby's Han Solo Blaster. Uh, this thing is really cool, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the review. So it is about 12 inches long and about uh, about six and three quarter inches tall. Um, so it feels like it's about um, life size. It's probably just a little bit smaller, um, but I don't think anyone will really notice. And um, it does have um, one notable feature, um, and that is that it does make noises. Um, I say noises and not like laser noises because, uh, well, I'll just show you. Uh, it makes an actual like gunshot noise, um, which I'll be honest, I was just baffled when I when I put batteries in this thing um, and it didn't make a blaster noise. Seeing as this is an actual licensed product, I figured that they would be able to do that. However, Ruby's cheaped out and just did, you know, a cheap sound card and a little tinny speaker uh, that they had probably already used in other toys. Uh, to be honest, though, I don't care at all. Um, I will probably never have batteries in this again. Um, I frankly only put batteries in um, for the review. So, obviously, um, this thing is kind of a, a, a cheap costume piece. It's meant for Halloween. And so that's why it's got this, you know, ridiculous orange and white paint job, you know, and it's not particularly well put together. I'll kind of show you. Um, I'll hold it above the camera and twist it a little bit. I'm not sure if that'll show up on camera or not, um, but it's, it's kind of um, cheaply made, so it's not the strongest materials. However, I don't think that this is going to just fall apart in your hands. Um, and, uh, Overall, it looks, you know, I, I call it about, you know, 60% the same as the original Han Solo Blaster. Obviously, it's orange and white, um, and some of the details on there are not the same. And frankly, I don't expect them to at the price point. Um, probably the biggest thing that's a giveaway on this thing is the scope. So it doesn't, it's not like a separate piece. Um, from the shell it's all one piece um, and it's it's actually sculpted where it intersects the barrel here so that's not accurate to the original um, prop piece frankly I think that with a paint job um, and a little bit of weathering this is about 80% there and I think for most people um, that's probably enough if you want um, like a 100% accurate Han Solo Blaster, this is definitely not what you want to pick up. However, if you want something that's pretty close and that 99% of people will instantly recognize as Han Solo's Blaster, uh, this is definitely uh, for you. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.